Magandang magandang hapon and welcome back once again. This is PC Express Live Tech Tuesdays. Sa mga viewers natin dyan, kamusta na po kayo dyan? Nandito na naman tayo para pag-usapan ang isa sa mga latest products na pwede nyong makita sa Philippine market today. At pag-uusapan natin ang isa sa pinakamagandang gaming desktop. Ito ang ROG Strix GL12CX, The Rebirth of a Gaming Beast. And to help us talk about the ROG Strix GL desktop, nandito po sa atin kasama ko po ang product marketer of ROG and the technical PR of ROG. Si Ms. Lauren uh, Viola? Tama ba? Viola? And si Franz Chan. Kamusta dyan, Ms. Uh, Lauren? Ang hirap po banggitin. Lauren? Ayan. Si Ms. Lauren at si Mr. Franz. Kamusta po kayo dyan? Hello. Viewers ng PCX, so thank you for being with us. So today, this afternoon, we'll be showing you some exciting products. So, Ma'am Lawrence, Sir Frank, simulan na natin. Yes, but, Paano nga yes. ba naging napakaganda yung na itong ROG Strix okay. na desktop na to? Just to be clear po, no, um, ang CX po na i-feature po natin ngayon is si PH0040. Just for our esports fans as well as our other gaming fans to enjoy. So, next po. So, Brief rundown lang po ng anatomy ni GL12CX. So, meron na po siyang Intel 9th generation processor. So, factory overclock na rin po siya. So, i9-9900K to 5.1 GHz na po siya. It has an Optane memory support. NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics na making it more immersive in gameplay together with a unique lighting system for Aura or the ASUS Aura Sync. But first, uh, we will show you, of course, dala namin yung ating very beautiful very monstrous na GL12CX so yan ito yan ang kanyang GL12 so you can see yung RGB lighting natin up in front so nakita nyo it flows with the it flows with the system flows with the system tapos yung design nya it's very stealthy it's very badass so tinatawag natin siyang it's 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 inspired by ninjas yes so yan oh meron siyang battle scars sa kanyang armor syempre yung ninja lumalaban yan so kailangan Pag nababawasan yung HP niya, buhay pa rin yung ninja, kaya pa rin lumaban. So, and, that's yung inspiration ng... At saka, stars. dahil ninja siya, but wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. Napapalitan po ang side panel niya ng yes. transparent side panel. So, right now, what we can show you is it's set up with the transparent side panel. So, yeah. um, inside, you can see rin what it looks like, the all the components that you want to know about the GL12. Ayun po, nag-glow-glow -glow rin po yung loob natin. So, yun nga, it comes with RGB lighting. Ang maganda sa GL12CX, it comes with the traditional panel or it comes with the transparent side panel. So, you can uh, change it at your uh, at your disposal. So, kung gusto mo makita yung inside, so nakita nyo yung liquid cooling niya, yung kanyang mm -hmm. GPU, yung CPU, tapos yung other components niya, it syncs with uh, Aura Sync din. So, you can really appreciate the beauty inside. <laughs> tapos, if you look at the top, ang tabay na rin. Detail natin na konti. Please be careful. Yan. Dating yung top. So, nakita nyo dyan yung thermal cooling yun. Dyan lumalabas yung air niya pagka siya yung nagtatrabaho bilang ating powerhouse. Alam ko meron kayo sinasabi, but wait, there's more. Ano nga ba tinatago na itong ROG Strix na to? Um, so, first and foremost, dahil yung transparent panel po niya, um, usually it comes with a covered panel na. Mm -hmm. But um, in the packaging, when you open the box, you can use the transparent panel again. Pero meron pa siyang isang feature na tinatago. So, dahil nga ninja tong uh, desktop natin, meron siyang isang pang feature which magnetic. is well, magnetic ba magnetic yung harap niya. So, you can easily swap out the SSD tray. So, sa Armor Kate, you can adjust what uh, what kind of frequency you want, ano classing performance you need. If you need it to be top speed kasi you can overclock this up to 5.1 GHz. So, that's Really, like, sobra-sobra na siya sa brace frequency, which is 3.6 GHz. So, this one comes with RTX 2080, a graphics card. Mm -hmm. the RTX means, of course, ray tracing, DLSS technologies. That means better frames, more realistic lighting. And since 2080 ito, it's ito na yung one of the top of the line cards ng NVIDIA. So, Super immersive. <laughs> wala na kayong hahanapin pa. Kahit ano pang games yung uh, ibato nyo, kayang-kaya ng system na to. For years and years to come. And kung nakita nyo sa slide natin, it's also ready for 4K gaming. 
So, ito nyo yung game status games like Black Ops 4, kaya nyo mag 70 FPS. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider 4K, kaya kaya nyo 60 FPS. Very smooth 4K gaming. And, uh, meron din siyang exclusive na ROG technology called the DIMM 2 SSD module. So, sa loob ng uh, CPU, mabilis siyang i-upgrade. Meron siyang DIMM 2 module. So, yung mga M M2 compatible yung kanyang uh, DIMM 2 slot. So, it's easy upgrade kung yung mga SSD ninyo, kailangan nyo upgrade yung storage, kung ano na pang requirement nyo sa M2 slot. It's very easy to just plug and play with the DIMM 2 module. This is only found in ROG desktops. Next, we have yung, of course, dahil this is a gaming desktop, this is equipped with all kinds of uh, trays. So, next, of course, Aura Sync. We already talked about it earlier. Yung Aura Sync, this means you can sync yung colors ninyo with your ROG peripherals. So, mice, uh, keyboards, headsets, up to 16 million colors are compatible with Asus Aura Sync. Kung audio file ka, meron tayong premium audio experience that will be found inside this uh, machine. Kasi nga, yung ating uh, GL12CX comes with ALC. 1150 codex which is high performance so yung mga nakikinig ng flak dyan 24 bit audio hello sa mga audio forums dyan i don't want to mention names lala nyo na ako <laughs> <laughs> so yung kasama na yung kanyang premium uh, dock sa loob so you can hear natural more warmer sounds when you plug in your headset so next of course kompleto yung ating ports, ports. dahil yan <laughs> ports natin Nakita nyo, napakaraming USB ports, USB 2, USB 3, Gen 2, Gen 1, kompletin SPDIF for audio. Ang dami niyang audio jacks. RJ45. O RJ45, syempre, wala, hindi mo wala yung gigabit LAN. Of course, yung mga, may kasama tong Wi-Fi. But, to maximize your gaming experience, you will want to have an Ethernet. Uh, plug it into an Ethernet port. For uh, less ping, of course, yung mga downloads nyo bibilisted pag naka-Ethernet port ka. Kung marami kang display, ayan, nakita nyo, napakadami niyang display ports, HDMI, uh, ano pa ba, display port, sa mga high refresh rate screens dyan, 200Hz, 240Hz, kayang-kaya ng GL12CX. And sa harap, ayan, may of course headphone jack, easy access USB port, so nakita nyo, meron ng USB port sa likod, meron pa sa harap, magsawa ka sa USB ports, kahit ilang pa yung i-plug nyo dyan, accessories, kayang-kaya ng desktop na ito. So, huwag okay, kayo wala stay tuned, I'll see you later again. Welcome back to Tech Tuesdays. Nandito po tayo sa ating second segment kung saan pinag-uusapan natin ang mga bagong products coming from ROG or the Republic of Gamers. This time, it's something that you might be very excited about because this is one of our best laptops. So, makita nyo, this is our uh, Zephyrus S GX502. So, medyo may kunting unboxing tayo. So, it's not a full unboxing pero ito yung laman nito pag nakita nyo yung loob ng ating uh, ng ating package. So this is pag dinatan niyo lalabas yung ating laptop. So this is the GX502 Zephyrus S. We brought in the Zephyrus S GX502 which is smaller, faster and lighter. This is 14% smaller than the previous generation, 18% lighter, only 2 kilograms and only 18.9 yung kanyang uh, slimness. So talagang napakanipis niya and it's still uh, very sleek and compact at the same time. What kind of display does this have? This one has an IPS 240Hz refresh rate display with only 3 millisecond response time with G-Sync support. Anti-fingerprint coating, usually gaming laptops pag ginaganyan ninyo or actually kahit anong laptop eh. Pag hinahawakan ninyo sa fingerprint, 
nag-mark siya. Ano yan? Kapit na kapit yan. Kahit na gano'n ako pasmado, wala pa rin eh. Yung trackpad, di mo na may wasan. Pero for this, yung kanyang body, anti-fingerprint coating talaga ang gamit niya. So talagang, it's very nice to touch when you're typing. Talagang you'll feel very, very premium talaga yung kanyang typing and gaming experience with this kind of coating. Perky RGB lighting. Of course, gamers like to customize their lighting. This one has perky RGB lighting. So if you want to highlight WSAED, or QWER if you're a MOBA gamer, LOL or Dota, you can do that. Uh, or pwede rin i-customize ninyo, let's say, if you want to play this particular game, naka-highlight yung keys na to, sa ibang game yung hotkeys naman nito, you can do that with perky RGB lighting with using ang ating Aura Creator. This is a new software which is introduced by ROG just a few weeks ago. So now it's available for download. It's uh, it's it, We want to hear your feedback about the Aura Creator. So if you're... If you're one of the owners of uh, GX502, you can use that software to customize your RGB lighting. Oh, and one of the signature features sa Zephyrus Lite is the active aerodynamic system. So what is the active aerodynamic system? Yung likod niya, when you open up the laptop, so, sa natin yung laptop, you can see, haangat yung likod niya. This is to facilitate airflow. This, up to 20% more airflow, 20% temperature, temperature reduce, 32% system airflow improved. So this means, kahit na if you're rendering talagang 4K videos, talagang sinestretch yung limits ng kanyang laptop, this uh, this will allow you to, the laptop to breathe. Okay, next, we have yung self-cleaning cooling system. So one of the patented features of ROG laptops, yung kanyang fan self-cooling. So less maintenance na kailangan ninyo, yung dust binubugan niya palabas. So kahit na years down the line, hindi, hindi siya masyadong kailangan ng maintenance. And yun nga, like uh, what we mentioned kanina sa desktop, meron tayong uh, high-res audio dito rin meron. Dahil ROG always uh, prioritizes yung audio experience ng ating users. So, meron tayong smart amp for louder speakers. Meron tayong 7.1 channel surround sound. You can adjust this sa ating Sonic, uh, ROG Sonic Radar software. Smart amp, ano pa ba? And meron tayong high-res ESS Saber Hi-Fi dock. So, you can be sure yung mga flak files ninyo, 24-bit files, kung gano'n makaganda yung bosses ni Taylor Swift sa files na yan, mapapakinggan nyo in, your, in that's proper, the, the way it was meant to be listened to with this powerful ESS Saber Dock. Yeah. It comes with Wave 2 Wi-Fi rin, so Wi-Fi AC, so uh, MIMO, Wi-Fi, so longer coverage, longer, uh, better gaming experience with the proper Wi-Fi chip. And kompleto yung kanyang I.O. ports. So, yan natin. So, katayo for sa left, sa right side, meron tayong dalawang USB ports and a Type-C port. So, Type-C port, if you want to output in a high refresh rate, sa 144 or even higher, you use the USB-C port. It's very accessible here. Sa kabila naman, we have the LAN port, we have the headphone jack. So, unfortunately, medyo namawala yung headphone jack kumisa sa mga new technology natin. Pero, meron pa rin tayo dito sa laptop dahil napaka-essential niya. Nandiyan yung charging port. HDMI port, so up to 4K yung kanyang output to HDMI port. So, mic in and mic out. May mga iba kasing laptops na isa na lang yung uh, port, but this one, dalawa siya may in and may out sa kanyang uh, audio port. Now, we go down to the specs. So, ano ba yung specs itong uh, napakaganda nating laptop? So, this one, this particular model comes with an i7 9750H. This is one of the latest and most powerful CPUs from our friends at Intel. It also comes with GeForce RTX 2070 for more realistic graphics, better frames, uh, 8 gigabyte yung VRAM ng kanyang uh, G ang RTX 2070. It also comes with ROG Boost, so higher TDP. So hindi na siya sinasabing RTX 2070, kaya niyang i-boost pa even further yung RTX 2070 na GPU niya. Yung memory niya, this comes with uh, 16 onboard, 16 gigabyte onboard memory. Meron pa siyang expandable slot sa likod, so if you if you want to upgrade, it's possible with this laptop. Uh, dalawa yung kanyang NVMe, PCIe uh, SSD, so up to 1 terabyte yung kanyang support. And the highest panel is up to 240 hertz. So maraming maraming salamat Sir Franz for uh, giving us time no, na pagpunta nyo dito at i-introduce nyo sa amin itong dalawang ROG product na to. Yeah. So sa mga viewers natin, wag po muna kayong aalis dahil may third segment pa tayo. Sabi nga natin, this is one of our fully packed tech Tuesdays. Meron pa tayong isang produkto coming from ROG at ito naman ay para sa mga PC builders or sa mga enthusiast uh, PC assemblers natin dyan. Okay? So give us around a couple of minutes para magse-set up lang kami 
Then we will continue with the last segment of our Tech Tuesday. Kita kits mamaya after 2 to 3 minutes. ROG number 1. Okay, welcome back once again. And this is the third segment of our PC Express Live Tech Tuesdays. Kung saan pinag-uusapan natin ang mga produkto that are from ROG or the Republic of Gamers. So simulan na po natin. Together with me is... Uh, Sir Robert from ASOS. So, I'm sure iba sa inyo na panood din na po siya dito sa PC Express Live. Dahil nag-guest na po siya sa amin isa sa, mga, sa Gaming Saturdays together with Rem. So, kamusta Sir Robert? Kamusta po kayo? Mabuti naman, boss. Uh, salamat sa pag-invite sa amin dito sa inyong Tech Tuesdays. So, ito yung, ito yung sa mga pinakabago nating ROG motherboards uh, from the ROG Strix line. So, ito yung tinatawag natin ROG Strix X570e gaming motherboard. Yan, kapag uh, nakabit na sa system yung inyong motherboard. Yan, ang kanyang pailaw. Very, uh, paano ba explain? Ano na, mod modern na aggressive looking na look na siya. And uh, kung makikita nyo, ano siya, uh, complementary na rin siya across the whole Strix line. So, mapa laptop yan, mapa graphics card, makita, makikita natin na very consistent yung design language ng ROG. So, hindi nyo mamimiss or very captivating kapag nag-complete tayo ng ROG ecosystem. Okay, so moving forward, uh, ano bang meron sa Ryzen? Ano ba yung iniba niya versus yung doon sa old Ryzen na 2000 series? etong Ryzen 3000 series, ang pinaka... Uh, binabandera, na, binabandera niya na feature is yung PCIe 4.0. So, para sa atin, uh, sa ating mga hindi masyadong uh, familiar pa sa technology, uh, yung ating graphics cards ngayon, gumagana siya under PCIe 3. So, with PCIe 4, nagpo-provide ng mas maraming lanes. So, kumbaga, kung nasa EDSA ka, nagkaroon pa ng dagdag na lanes. So, in-expect na mas maluwag kapag mas maraming bandwidth or kung baga sa daan, mas maraming sasakyan na dumadaan doon. So, ito yun, uh, PCIe 4.0. So, moving forward, uh, pinaliwanag ko na na basically, mas mabilis. Hindi natin masyadong kailangan itindihin yung data na nakikita ninyo sa screen, but yun, mas mabilis. And nagpipave way siya for better transfer rates, lalo na kapag naka-NVME kayo na bago yung PCIe uh, 4.0 na NVMe SSD. Isa sa mga bagong features is that may dual CPU power connectors na siya. Uh, sa normal na motherboard before, hanggang walo lang. But now, we have uh, 12. Kasi nare-recognize namin na uh, with overclocking, kailangan mo talagang magdagdag ng more power para mas mag-pump out ng more performance yung PC mo. And then, makita natin na may sa loob ng PCH or para sa mga old timers, yung mga 90s kids, South Bridge. Yung South Bridge na yan, or PCH, meron tayong fan. Kasi nga, uh, yung chipset na to, talagang kumakain ng kuryente. So, kailangan niya ng, ng fan para ma-dissipate yung heat na nag-generate na doon sa area ng motherboard na yun. And then, may, uh, meron tayong cooling system para mas mga M.2. Kasi nga, provided na itong mga M.2 and NVMe na M.2 na to, very hot din to pa nag-operate under pressure or under load. So, kailangan siya ng cooling. So, meron kami provided na mga shields uh, to help uh, cool down the system and yung mga storage drives natin. Of course, pagdating sa ROG, talagang binubuhos namin lahat ng bagong technologies namin. Including nito yung Live Dash OLED. So, ito naman, more on indicator lang to. Status indicator. Kung ano yung gusto mong ilagay. Pwede mo i-customize. Like, ito, nasa picture, may ROG logo. Or, pwede mo lagyan ng ibang stats. Next is uh, USB BIOS flashback. So, ito naman, uh, very convenient kasi kapag, let's say, nagka-problema yung BIOS mo, pwede mong i-reset dito. Or, kung gusto mong i-update yung, yung BIOS mo, pwede mong gawin kahit walang processor. Kasi, normally, kailangan mo ng processor para mag-update ng BIOS. E, paano kung bagong generation agad yung binili mo, tapos hindi compatible yung CPU? So, kailangan mo talaga ng uh, BIOS flashback. And then, pre-mounted I.O. Built-in na yung I.O. So, di na mahirapan yung mga first time na mga builders. Kasi usually nakakalimutan yan. Nagawa na yung PC, na, nakabit na lahat. Tapos mapapansin nila, bakit butas yung likod? Kasi hindi nila nalagay yung back I.O. shield. Okay, ito yung itsura ng ROG Crosshair 8 formula. Very macho. Mukhang Robocop. Sobrang brusco. Yan. And then ito yung ROG Crosshair 8 Hero natin. Very modern din yung look. And uh, very sleek. 
Okay. We'll move forward. Ito yung ROG Stix X570. Um, napakita ko na yung ROG Stix X570e. Meron din pong F version. So, kung, kung kayo, hindi nyo kailangan ng Wi-Fi, built-in Wi-Fi, ang bibilin po natin is ROG X570F. Pero for now, we are offering yung X570E dito sa PC Express. And, Tough Gaming Series. Ayan. Tough Gaming X570 Plus, Wi-Fi and non-Wi-Fi version. So, kung makita nyo, very military yung look niya. But still, very strong. Um, hindi kami nagtipid sa parts dito. And yung Prime X570 natin na pinakita ni Sir Jesse kanina. Okay, moving forward. Ito yung pro namin na sinasabi. So, kung ikaw naman eh, seryosong content creator or video producer, probably gumagawa ka ng mga artworks and di mo kailangan ng gaming features. Ang kailangan mo talaga is isang solid na motherboard for your everyday tasks. Ito yung nire-recommend namin which we hope to release soon din. But uh, habang wala pa siya, pwede yung Prime natin. Kasi yun yung target naman nung dalawang motherboards na yun. Ito yung Ito yung Pro WS X570 Ace. Okay, so let's move on to the deeper topics pagdating sa X570 and uh, what makes Asus and ROG very unique from other brands. So meron kaming tinatawag na themed na uh, VRM system. Basically, ayaw, hindi ko pahihirapan yung ating audience kung ano ito. Sinasabi namin na mas efficient yung power management system ng Asus. Moving forward, sa ganitong klase ng architecture and ganitong klase ng power structure. Uh, X570 motherboards ng Asus are going to be much more efficient. So, ang result nito is uh, better power management and then uh, higher overclocks and basically more durable and more stable system over time and uh, better temperatures overall. Kasi nga, kung yung kailangan kuryente, yun lang yung binabato. So, Optimum. Bale, ito yung tracing ginawa ng Asus. Bale, ah, uh, from the motherboard, pupunta sa RAM, meron niyang linya para mag-communicate sila. So, ginawa ni Asus, ginawa niya mas efficient. Ginawa niya pantay-pantay lahat ng distansya. So, nung result nun, better overclocking. Ang Ryzen na mga motherboards, kailangan nila ng high frequency pagating sa RAM. So, very important yung megahertz na tinatawag natin sa computation and yung CAS latency. So, the higher the frequency, the better, but lower the latency, the better. So, uh, na, with this technology, yung Optimum 3, pantay-pantay lahat ng distansya nung ano. Isa lang yung sa mga features, ha, but pantay-pantay yung distance from uh, RAM A to CPU, RAM B to CPU, pantay-pantay. So, pag nag-communicate, sabay-sabay. So, with this kind of fan, uh, we are going to achieve uh, 60,000 hour na lifespan. So, I think kahit siguro ilang years na yun, sure ako na hindi siya masisira. Kasi nga, uh, pinili namin yung best of the best na, na microfan para sa aming motherboard. And at the same time, kasi nga, uh, alam namin na kailangan ng pathway ng hangin. So, kami lang yung brand na nag-offer ng ganito na finned na heatsinks. So, may rap siya approve, but um, masabi namin na itong feed, kami lang yung may ganitong klase ng, ano, ng heatsink na pahanggang sa loob ng PCH meron. Kasi nga, gusto namin na mas malamig yung, yung temperature. And uh, kapag mas malamig yung temperature, mas kaya mag-achieve ng better performance over a longer period of time. Dito po tayo nagtatapos. Maraming maraming salamat ulit sa mga viewers natin. Sa susunod po na Tech Tuesday at sa susunod po na mga PC Express Live, magsama-sama tayong muli. Paalam! Bye!